uh, Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark. Hi, Tom. Uh, as executive director for Democracy Watch News, I'm very concerned about Trump's anti-democratic agenda, especially his attacks on press freedom. Mm-hmm. As I've reported previously in your program, the U.S. is currently ranked 55th in the world in terms of press freedom by reporters without borders. And I expect that ranking will drop even lower under his new anti-press administration. Therefore, it's really important that the U.S. Congress pass the Press Act before January, which was already passed in the House of Representatives, but it's languished in the Judiciary Committee in the Senate. The bill would provide a national shield law protecting journalists from government surveillance and prevent subpoenas in an attempt to force reporters to reveal their sources. Trump has including whistleblowers. That Republicans fight this legislation, you know. Yes. Uh, Trump has targeted the legislation for defeat, for defeat, ordering Republicans to oppose what is a bipartisan bill. Mm-hmm. It was introduced... To the, in the Senate by Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon, but it's co-sponsored by Senator Mike Lee from Utah, who's a Republican, right. and Lindsey Graham. Okay. It was introduced originally by Jamie Raskin, but it's just isn't going nowhere. But as all you know, all of the major news organizations like Seattle, the Seattle Times and the Committee to Protect Journalists have. Uh, and lobbying the Senate to get this passed. Because, as Walter Cronkite said, a free press is not just important to democracy, it is democracy. Yeah. And we should Jefferson all said urge the Senate thing. to pass this bill as soon as possible mm-hmm. um, before January. There's also, you were just talking about media uh, monopolies, there's also the Journalism Competition and Preservation Act in the U.S. Senate, and that should also be a top priority for members of Congress this year. That bill sets out a process uh, through which certain broadcast or digital news providers might collectively negotiate uh, with online platforms regarding the use of the news provider's content by the by the platforms. And that was introduced into the Senate by Senator Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. And this also has bipartisan support. So it's really, really important that these bills get passed before Trump takes office. It's all about democracy now. I'm with you. Good time to call your senators, right? That's, that's where it's, yes. it's tied up. It's in the Senate. Good time to call your senators. Absolutely. Mark Taylor Canfield. Mark, thanks a lot. Good talking to you. Keep up the great work. We'll be right back. 20 minutes past the hour. Missed my opening rant today? It's usually published over at HartmanReport.com where you can read it and share it with your friends for free. Check it out, HartmanReport.com.